hello friends welcome to engineering tutorial so we'll continue our discussion with uh, the electrical machines the uh, dc generator part in the previous videos we covered the basic concepts related to the operation of a simple loop generator the operating principle and uh, various mathematical equations related to linear DC machine so in this video we are going to focus on the constructional features of a DC generator now as I said that when a machine electrical machine is assembled it is not known to the manufacturer whether it is going to be you know uh, to the to the, to the person who assembles all the parts it is uh, not fixed that it will be used as a motor or a generator if we reverse one it becomes the other okay electrical to mechanical is motor mechanical to electrical generator so it is reversible so both motor and generator will have the same constructional features so the various uh, important parts of the electrical machine here for the DC machine be it motor or generator it consists of five main parts first the field system which provides the uniform magnetic field then armature core and armature winding these two are combined together and it is generally the movable or rotating part of the machine which rotates in the uniform constant magnetic field this system it is the stationary field rotating armature type okay the other one is rotating field stationary armature type we'll discuss about that later but here it will be stationary field the field system will be stationary the armature system core and winding combined will be movable or rotating then we have the commutator and brushes we have discussed a separate video related to that the commutator and brushes the basic uh, the need of commutator and brushes so basically they act as a mechanical rectifier which converts the AC voltage developed in the loop into DC so now let us discuss them one by one along with their diagrams okay so the field system so as I said the function of the field system is to produce a constant uniform magnetic field in which the armature rotates so here Fleming's rule comes into play when a conductor rotates in a magnetic field a voltage a current flows through it as a result of that a EMF is induced because of uh, it cuts the magnetic flux so both Faraday and Fleming's rule come into play here so in case of this DC machine here the DC generator the field system it consists of a circular frame that circular frame is called as yoke okay and in that circular frame we have even number of poles bolted to it so the field uh, the field system it looks something like this okay we have this circular frame which is called as yoke on this frame we have these poles bolted on it okay now the circular frame yoke is made of of solid cast steel and the poles are made of of laminated iron pieces which are placed or stacked one above the other okay and around these poles the field windings are wound all around them 
okay so these are the field windings these are the poles and this is the circular frame or yoke now you can see that the north and south poles are lying adjacent to each other okay so this is the field system so as i said the the poles have field coil, coils wound around them they carry the dc excitation current to bring the fleming's rule into play a current carrying conductor placed in a uh, that rule to apply in order to generate the magnetic field we have to pass a current through this field these poles so that they can behave as electromagnets now this field system it produces a constant magnetic field now dc current is passed because we want a constant magnetic field if we pass ac current it will be a fluctuating magnetic field because the amplitude of the ac it varies so these poles have field coils wound around them through which dc current is passed so that these poles with field coils behave as electromagnets providing a constant uniform magnetic field because of the dc current in this magnetic field the armature rotates now let us discuss about the armature so the armature it rotates between the field poles in the constant uniform magnetic field now this armature is basically connected to the shaft of the machine so we'll just we'll see that in the diagram so the armature it is made up of soft iron laminations which are stacked to form a cylindrical structure so the armature it looks something like this this is the top view we'll also see the side view so this is the top view of the dc machine this is the armature which consists of a cylindrical structure it is because it is the top view it looks something like this okay the side view it looks something like this the armature is a cylindrical structure this is the top view it consists of various you know uh protrusions or tooths okay and in between these tooths we have the slots into which the armature conductors are fit into it they are fitted inside these slots so this is the armature core into these slots the armature conductors are inserted so these are the conductors see these these are the conductors which are fitted inside these slots okay these circular slots so this is the top view this is the side view okay so the armature core is the rotating part of the movable part of the dc machine it rotates in the fixed uniform magnetic field produced by the field system this within this the armature rotates okay so the armature conductors are basically uh, connected in a symmetric manner so that a closed loop is formed you know we discussed the simple loop generator where we uh, we got the output dc voltage so please watch that video so that you understand this in a better way so these armature windings or conductors they are either connected in series or parallel series for an increase in voltage and parallel for increase in current we'll discuss about them in detail in the upcoming videos for now you just understand these things so we have covered the field system and the armature core and windings this is the armature core with slots into which the armature conductors or windings are inserted and it looks something like this now commutator and brush now we have already discussed about commutator and brush the working principle of that in a separate video still uh, let us uh, repeat again quickly so the commutator 
is basically a device which converts the alternating voltage generated in the loop into DC voltage. So basically it is a mechanical rectifier. So I have already posted a video related to commutator and brush so you please check out that video. So the commutator it consists of two cylindrical rings half rings or split rings which are separated by a coating of mica and they also have two brushes attached with them. The cylindrical portion these two segments are free to rotate but these brushes they are stationary okay so see they can rotate but the brushes are st stationary the two rings they can change their places here it is c1 c2 here it is c2 c1 okay same thing here they are able to rotate but this brush is fixed now again I repeat I have posted a video related to commutator and brush the working principle and how it converts AC into DC I have posted a separate video so you please check out that video. Now in the uh, this assembly with respect to this uh, DC machine assembly the commutator it looks something like this okay it consists of this uh, uh, circular structure along with four brushes okay so it is because four poles are involved so with respect to that we have four brushes also here now when all these parts that is this field system the circular frame and the poles this armature core and windings which are fitted into into these slots and this commutator and brush arrangement when they are combined together it looks something like this this is the circular frame yoke this is these are the four poles the field windings this is the armature core with the windings or conductors slotted in it and then we have the commutator or and brush arrangement okay and this is the top view this is the side view okay this is the armature core and conductors this is the commutator and brush arrangement this is the shaft okay so this is the side view of the DC machine assembly so again I would uh, request you to watch the previous videos uh, related to electrical machines where I have discussed the basic concepts in the detail so it would be easier for you to catch up and understand these things so here we have discussed about the general DC machine construction the field system the armature core and about commutator and brush arrangement okay and the general assembly of the DC machine so I hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much